OpenPATH's Business Center preview. The preview mode of OpenBot's Business Center showcases many great features that will enhance the flow of an automation. Users can create work queues, work goals, and work items to assist in human-in-the-loop workflows. Users can also create sites and forms to trigger automations from form input for processing. Creating a work queue is like creating a queue in the cloud server. Creating a work goal is meant to help standardize work items and allow users to run automations through work items that match that work goal. Let's go to the OpenBots Business Center. As you can see on our dashboard, we have a lot of metrics that go along with our work queues and our work items. Let's go to the work items tab. As you can see, we have two different types of work items, tasks and approvals. And we also have work goals that we can attach to each work item and work queues. Let's look at work queues first. As you can see, we have a bunch of different work queues here. We can view each work queue, see its description, any behavior that we have defined, and if we have a service level agreement. Let's go to work goals. Again, we have a bunch of work goals here. If we go into our work goal details page, we can see our name, the status of the work goal, what type of work item we want to use this work goal for, any linked schedules that we can use to allow the work item to automate a process. And we can also add a work item once it is completed to a queue in the cloud server. We have any description and notes here as well. Let's go to approvals. As you can see, we have a bunch of approvals here, each with a different status, in progress, completed, created. If we go to view our work items, we have plenty of details that can help us determine how to go about completing our work items. If you notice here in the approvals section, we have pause, approve, or reject. To complete this work item, you either have to approve or reject it. Let's go to the tasks page. As you can see, we have many different tasks here. We can view this again, but here, as we start our progress in this task, it will change to pause or complete. The only way to complete a task is to choose this complete button. As you can see with this task, it has a work goal in which automations can be run. If you need to, you can choose one of these automations to run to help you complete your work item. Creating tasks and approvals from an automation are like creating ones in the Business Center. Let's take a look. As you can see in the server commands, we have this folder called Business Center. And in here, we have the work item commands. As you can see, we can add, assign, delete, export, get work item, get work item status, and update all different parts of a work item. For now, let's just add a work item. We need to know our work queue name. As you can see, we have two different work queues, my task work queue and my approval work queue. Let's create a task. So we will need to create a variable. You can pick any work goal that you have that you would like to associate your work item with. For now, let's go with my task work goal. Any name you would like for the work item itself. And again, we can do an approval work item in the studio, but let's keep it as task for now. If you have a project number, business entity, business entity identifier, business activity, source or priority, feel free to add those in. Let's add a description. We'll keep the priority as medium, but you can set it to high or low. If you have a due on date, if you would like to assign it to a specific person, 
have a reference number or a reference type or file path, all of these variables are optional. However, we do want to have an output work item variable. This is important so that we can use it in the future for other commands. So let's add our work item. We're running our work item. It has been added successfully. So let's go to our tasks page. As you can see, our task work item has been created.